one and go. Welcome, Welcome back to, to Full Snow. <laughs> nope, it's focusing. Come on, it should focus. So, just making my way to the shed. Preparation for Barcelona has been going ahead quite well. Just been hitting the gym and things, started kickboxing. Flight leaves tomorrow morning. But looking forward to going over to Barcelona. We're actually going over on the Wednesday. I just want to kind of go around and see a bit of the, see a bit of the city if I can. Never really get the chance to so everywhere you go, get off the plane, straight to the track. You never actually get a chance to see anywhere that you go to. So yeah, really excited. We're going to be doing some cycling today before I move on to some kettlebells. Ugh, I hate, I hate them. Um, and then some other weights. Looking forward to get my sweat on. See you in a bit. That was hard work. Cycle done, looking a bit sweaty there. We move on to a bit of kettlebell now. You will not be seeing any of that because I look tragic while doing it. I'm like, <sighs> Okay, so we've just done some weights, hit shower, get something to eat, chill out for the rest of the evening, might play a bit of cod. All right, Alfie, where are we going? Um, Stansted Airport. Where are we going to Stansted Airport? Uh, to drop you off on your cab driver today. He's a cab driver. <laughs> Have you watched the vlog so far? Uh, I watch, no, to be fair, right, I watched like the first five minutes, yeah. the first one, yeah, and then I just got bored so Yeah, but you missed the best bit with all like the racing. Yeah, I'll, yeah, you won, but no one really cares to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday morning, just on our way down to the track. Yeah. Actually, on our way to the shops, get a pair of shorts, head over to the track, and then you'll get in the front bumper wrap back in blue and orange, so that should be nice. There she is. Look at that beauty there. Okay, so we've got our shopping done. We've got a nice hoodie. Uh, we're going to make our way over to the track now, so see all the lads again. Final time. It's quite emotional, actually. It's quite emotional, like this is the last time. So I don't even, I don't know what next year's plans are, so this could be the last time ever in an RX2E. That's a part of my racing journey, so it's quite sad. Ah, uh, it's recording! What's up guys, Victor Franks here. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Sorry, what are you doing? One and go. Welcome, welcome back to, to Full Snow. <laughs> <snow. laughs> One and welcome, welcome back, back to, to Full, full Send. send. There we go, that's it. Okay, so, we're leaving the hotel. Helmet in hand. Where are we going? Track walk now. Track walk, are we gonna learn all the secrets? Yeah. <laughs> you think I should go up? <laughs> go on the outside. Go on the outside? Yeah. Off so. the racing line? Yeah, for sure. That's, That's the quickest way? Yeah. Alright, if you do that and show me how it's done, then I'll stay on the inside. Yeah, and then if it is quicker, yeah. Then you will swap. I'll swap. Good deal. You've got something on your back as well. No! <laughs> Do you remember when I patted you on the back before we came up the no. stairs? No! Yeah. Didn't you recognize it? This exactly. is Pablo Suarez. I have to send you stickers. Patrick is so loud. It's the first and last time this weekend we'll have that order. Is there a result of the final? You see, it's a bigger car, it's more powerful. <laughs> more powerful? No, I mean slow, it's heavier. <laughs> Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we need to get Isaac. I got another stick. Yeah, go get one, go get one for Isaac. You didn't see anything, did you? <laughs> Saw nothing. <laughs> okay, so Saturday morning, we're making our way down to the car park. <laughs> Meme team. Last one when I missed the Joker in Hullius. Boom! Get out of now watch for O'Donovan and Victor Franks on the outside. There's already bump and barge and here come our two young rising stars. And he'll have to battle, but it's Patrick O'Donovan out in front. Up front though, O'Donovan, the only driver in the field with a clean front of his car and uh, he is driving to another race victory. Yeah, usually the saying is you can't win a race off the start, but it's just like paying dirt. I just got a good start and uh, I just, I saw I had a little bit of a gap, so I just cut across. And uh, after that, there was a bit of carnage behind oh, me. Yeah, really, really happy that I couldn't asking for much more. Woo! Shoo! 
Oh, and that looks like a jump start, and it looked like Patrick O'Donovan. Patrick O'Donovan will now have to take in the compulsory Joker lap twice. And Niels Anderson gets a good launch. Patrick O'Donovan didn't want to jump start for a second time of asking on the exit, and Checker Joker's behind anyway, so that's. Uh, not a problem for him. I think it's fair. He doesn't have all that much experience. Oh, and Pablo Suarez has got really out of shape there. Uh, those uh, two joker laps put him almost three seconds off the pace. It's Nils Anderson that takes race two heat two ahead of Patrick O'Donovan. 2.9 seconds down. Just did heat one and two. I didn't actually film between heat one and two. Oh, oh my, my mistake. God. And you want to be a vlogger and you don't do that. I know. I'm, I'm going to be stacked. I'm going to stack myself. No, it was good. We had a good start in heat one. Went around the outside and uh, yeah, won, won the heat. He didn't have a very good heat. I basically crashed in the second corner. <laughs> oh, it's hard life. Then in uh, heat two, jumped the start. Yeah, it is what it is. But um, had a good recovery. With two jokers, we only finished like two seconds behind the leader. So I'm really happy with that. Still somehow managed to get P3 overnight. Don't know how that happens. Um, but yeah, so we're going to end up uh, actually on pole in tomorrow's heat three. So I'm just this guy next to me. We're gonna have some team racing, eh? Early the next morning. Donovan, who's immediately under pressure from Victor Franks. Oh, Donovan doesn't hold the inside line. Has a heavy hit, which allows Nick Heidfeld, oh, almost to squeeze up the inside. But it's Victor Franks with a very aggressive start. These two uh, boys, I'm gonna say, because uh, they're only 16 and 18 between them. We're sit, la sitting laughing and joking in the catering area in the paddock just a few minutes ago and then absolutely getting stuck into each other on the racetrack on the way up to the jump. But uh, I felt clearly wanting to get stuck in. Oh, Donovan's hit the wall and spun around. Here they come round, corner 12, chequered flag. Victor Franks wins the first race of Heat 3. Suarez is second. O'Donovan is third, Heidfeld is in fourth position. Hey guys, so uh, welcome to day two of Barcelona. I'm currently filming this from the shed outside my house because I was a massive wally and I forgot to film anything on the, the Sunday. Basically, I went to the track, however, I forgot to bring any of the extra batteries with me and the battery didn't last very long. I'm filming. Oh, buddy, hey, buddy, everybody's screwed. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy the rest of this. Sorry about that. Let's immediately move on to semi-final number two and the young British Rising Rallycross star, Patrick O'Donovan, winner of the last two rounds of the RX2 E Series. And he won them with really exciting racing, but he's got a tough battle here in the semi-final. Isaac Jokvis has been uh, one of the fastest men out on track uh, yesterday's heats. Good launch from Jokvist, who has a little advantage on the inside. Oh, and they have crushed Patrick O'Donovan into that first corner. And it looks like uh, Raul Ferrer and uh, Pepe Arque have come out best. I don't think Pepe Arque was all the way ahead when he turned in. Patrick O'Donovan is out in front, but he still has to take in his joker lap. The predictor doesn't like the story. The predictor thinks Pepe Arque has the benefit here. Now rounds the corner, needs to get that momentum and power coming up the hill. There is Pepe Arque. The Spanish driver takes the lead. He's got two of them, but he needs to try and get Arque now. Critically, though, that'll be enough to put him through to the final. Behind that, Raul Perez, third place. Enough to put him through, I don't think. The graphic pops up. Pablo Suarez will go through. Pepe Arque runs wide in the final corner. Patrick Donovan sticks the nose up the inside. They run side by side to the line. Oh! All kinds of carnage on the chequered flag and finish line. Patrick, I'm not even sure where to begin, but you are breathing pretty heavily after that race. Talk us through it. No holding back. No, I, uh, I went into the into turn one and I was alongside Isaac, but uh, I got a push into the into the wall and it, it broke the steering again like it did earlier in earlier's heat and the steering was all over the place so it was, every time I was braking it was trying to chuck me right. No, then, then came up behind Pepe and it was all over the place and then uh, he, he kind of left the gap open slightly into the final corner and I went for it and I had my f uh, full left lock on and he was still there and I don't know what happened. I think we crossed the line together but I'm not too sure what happened there. Yeah. Do you reckon there could be some penalties or was that all racing incidents? I mean, honestly, I would have to say racing instant. I had, I had my left, uh, left lock on fully, so there was nothing I could have done to avoid anything there. Okay. Well, it's under investigation, so we'll have to see. Thank you. Wish me luck. Yes. <laughs>
I was annoyed about it at first. I was happy with the way I drove. I'm happy with the way I raced. Although it did on TV, it looked like I pushed to pass him. The FI stewards came to the conclusion that I didn't push him into the braking zone. When I went for the inside, when he left the door open, it's really slippery on the outside bit where he was. And I drove my line to the finish line. I didn't expect him to sit there. I'm, I'm sorry for the way it happened. However, I, I don't feel as if I was at fault for a 10 second time penalty. Sure, it was rough and it was completely unintentional. Perhaps three second penalty. I just felt as if it was a hard, hard done by decision. Sometimes it doesn't go your way, it is what it is. So that's it, RX2E 2022 campaign is over. A lot of highs and lows. I mean, we, we've had Miss Joker calls in Julius that put us out of the final, a nightmare weekend in hell, the win then in Latvia. It meant so much to me, obviously, with bad luck in the two events before. It's honestly gonna go down as one of the best days of my life. We were lucky enough to repeat it again in Spa. And I could just see like Victor on the outside, like, is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? And then we came together over the finish line. So I had to ask Dave, I was like, Dave, like, did we get it? Did we get it? And he was like, of course we got it. What are you talking about, you melt? Of course we got it. And Spain, well, Spain was Spain without the S. Uh, we bottled it in Barca. We move and hopefully we can do more in 2023. I have no idea what my 2023 plans are. If someone out there does, please let me know. We got some time to figure it out. So I don't know when we're releasing this, however, if it hasn't already been Christmas, Merry Christmas. And if it has and it's between New Year, have a Happy New Year. And if it's before both, Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year.